Do I even work out? Do I even work? Oh my god! <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I'm trying something brand new. We're gonna be doing Pilates. I'm at Function Studio in Newmarket with co-owner Sammy. She's literally a pro, you guys will see. But she's gonna take me through my first workout slash like exercise stuff and we'll just see how I do, but I'm excited. Yeah, you're gonna do great. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm excited to like watch you like just like do your thing. You're, she, she's so graceful and so strong, so I feel like you might we might not show be me as up graceful a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> We're gonna try some fun things. And Pilates is such a great workout, and um, since Tay is so strong, I feel like it's gonna like add a little bit of a fun element today. So let's try some fun things out. I feel like I'm gonna be sore in places that I didn't know. Yes, was gonna be sore. Like we were you know? practicing before, we might feel a little bit of a weird yeah. hamstring situation. There's like muscles. Where I'm like, oh, I don't have that Pilates muscle. <laughs> That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> we'll um, see. But yeah, let's see. I want I want you guys to see how good Sammy is first. So we're just gonna do a little little Sammy highlight. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. handy dandy little Pilates stability balls. I also call them squishy balls. <laughs> I like that. So let's scooch down and you're just gonna roll down and then your head's gonna fit between these little shoulder pads. Okay. You're gonna take the ball and it's gonna come right between your inner thighs. So give it a good little we'll squeeze. squeeze. You'll feel those inner thighs kind of activate right away. Yes. And then make sure your heels are on that platform. Where's yeah, the platform? That one right there. Right? <laughs> you know what, since you're wearing socks, you might have to like do a little heat, like take the sock off your heel. Uh -huh. But if not, then. You might slip, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so start by squeezing into the ball and then yeah. reach your hips up and then just lower them all the way back down. And your carriage might move a little bit, but that's kind of like- That's like okay? It's okay, but okay. you also kind of want to keep it still. We want to use those muscles to kind of keep everything nice and stable. Nice. And then just like tucking and lifting, squeezing the ball, feeling the glutes and those inner thighs and those hamstrings will wake up a little bit here. On the next one, just hold up and now squeeze into the ball. Little, like you're gonna pop it, like, like you're gonna snap the ball in half. Oh, like a little palsy action. Like a little palsy, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna do a couple pulses, feeling some more glute action here, just inner thigh. And then on the next one, hold it in and then start to push the carriage backwards. You're gonna extend your legs. Like you're doing like a hamstring curl, but reverse. Oh. Yeah, so that's gonna move in and wow. out. Look at all these muscles. Like <laughs> I know, he's like, <laughs> Those hamstrings. Yeah. So they're gonna be a little sore in the back body tomorrow. Yeah, and then just coming in and out. Let's do two more. Okay. This is kind of cool. I know. Feels like um, I'm doing like a hack squat, but like like completely laid down. You know but yeah, but you're laid down. It's like yeah. way more comfortable. <laughs> Good, come all the way back down. Yeah. Take the ball out. And then just roll all the way up. And then we're gonna just pop the ball to the side, okay. lift the platform up, and take it to zero springs. Zero springs. Yeah. So zero springs is like, for some reason, I thought when I was gonna do that, I thought I was gonna like launch back. Oh, you you definitely will. <laughs> yeah. Be <laughs> yeah, careful. Okay. So let's test that upper body strength a little bit here. Oh. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Yeah. I'm nervous. I did chest yesterday. Disclaimer. <laughs> In case I look terrible, <laughs> you're gonna be great. Okay. So let's pop those hands on top. Yep. And then tuck the toes and lift up into a high plank. And then right away you're gonna like feel those abs fire up. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna fired up. <laughs> fired up. You're gonna bend the knees in and then exhale, extend them all the way out. Good. So right now you're carrying the weight of like not only your own body, but also the carriage, which I don't know how many pounds it is, but it's definitely heavy. Oh, yeah, it's definitely some weight. Oh yeah. Good. Keeping the back nice and long, neutral spine. And then just a really soft bend in the elbows. I feel like you're like me. We're always like locked yeah, out. Yeah, locked out. So yeah. Bend. It's the gymnast in you. <laughs> Let's start to pike the hips up. So now folding up. Nice. And then come back down with super control. 
sweat nothing. Breaks or bends in the back. I'm already sweating. Me too. <laughs> Loki, I'm like, my arms are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's a perfect pike. Thank you. You got a good pike. One more. Good, come all the way down. Drop your knees and reset. Nice. Ooh, this is kind of fun. I know. I like this machine. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. It's like you get to lay down and do workouts. Yeah. And then it's you like, somehow end up sweating while you're working. <laughs> yeah, like it's weird. It's because it moves, you would think, oh, it's easier because it like moves, but it's so much harder. Yeah, it's so much harder. But like a good heart. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's jack this up a little bit. So you can take yeah. off the platform. And then you're gonna hook on. Let's do three and a half springs. So that's gonna be three red springs. Doesn't matter which ones. Nope, they're all like the same tension. Okay. And then you're also gonna put on the blue spring. Okay. And this makes it harder. It makes it harder. Okay. And then we're gonna hook this all the way up. Perfect. Scooch down and roll onto your back again. And this is what I would call like a leg press. Oh, okay. I know, it's pretty cool. So you're gonna have your heels on top about hip distance. Okay. And then we're gonna press all the way out. So your legs are gonna lengthen. Oh, that is some resistance. Okay. I know. Yeah, you're like, this is heavy. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so the red springs are considered 100% resistance and then the okay. blue spring is considered 50% resistance. So um, yeah, you'll notice a bit of a difference there. Wow, this is so cool. I know. No, I actually really like this machine. I know, it's pretty cool, right? I just like love the aspect that you can like lay down. Lay down. Like people are like, can I just lay down and work out? I was like, yes, yes you can. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. People are like, I want to do performance today. I want a lazy workout. And then by the end of it, they're sweating, they're out of breath. I'm like, yeah. did you really think Pilates was going to be easy today? Like, there's just no, no chance. I was actually scared because I knew Pilates was not easy. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was like, Pilates is hard. Let's come in halfway and we're going to do 10 pulses upward. Okay, so kind of sliding the carriage out towards the end. And that, I like love adding and building, and so I always do lots of little pulses and holds. Yes, I remember one time I took, you were guest teaching at Lululemon. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I did the, I was there for the Pilates class, I was dying. Oh my god, yeah. You made us do like lunge pulses with like sliding and stuff. And I, I remember like, oh, that. I was dying too. My gosh. I think we've done 40 pulses. Come back in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now bring your heels together, toes apart, like you're making a pizza with your feet and a diamond with your legs. And now press all the way out. Almost like a froggy. Yeah, like a froggy. And then back in. Ooh, that's a new muscle. I know, it's like changing up the angle a little bit. We're laterally rotated from the hips. Yeah, Good. I don't work this muscle. Um, yeah, same. <laughs> Unless I'm doing this exercise. Yeah, this it's is so good. good. Yeah. It's just working with resistance, right? Like, I feel like most times we can do, like you could deadlift like 300 pounds or like bicep curl like 30 pound dumbbells. And yeah. then you do Pilates and you're like, you're like, this is hard. Around, like one spring. It's so different. So I think that's why it's like so good to just add in cool. that. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, add in different types of movement. I definitely feel it. Like this is like a lot on my legs. Oh my gosh, yeah. Let's come all the way back in. And this one's one of my favorites. Bring your feet together, wrap your toes around. Mm -hmm. Press your carriage all the way out. And now drop and lift your heels into a cat raise. Oh, I know. Full leg day. Full leg day right now. I know, my legs are <laughs> burning. <laughs> Oh, it's so good though. Good thing you did chest yesterday. No, yeah, legs. oh my gosh, yeah, I told my friend yesterday, I was like, we're not working legs because I have Pilates tomorrow. My hamstrings <laughs> are sore, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm still gonna do a hamstring exercise with you because I feel like you're gonna look amazing doing it. Let's hold your heels up and then come all the way back in. Amazing. That's not fun. I know. <laughs> graceful, <laughs> graceful, she says. <laughs> Okay, so let's take this foot bar all the way down again. So like you would a long chair, just lifting and coming down. Go to one red sprint, so just take off the others. And then we're gonna walk to the back here and just grab this box. Okay. So careful, it's like heavier than you think. Oh, is it? And it's also like the size of you. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so pop it on top like this. This is called long box. Okay. And then, yeah, just make sure it's like nice and even. Okay, so you're gonna grab this strap. So looking at the windows here, it'll be your left, left strap. Okay. Hold it like this, like downward, and then stick your left foot into it like you're gonna put on a sock. Yeah. And, and watch your balance. And then just take the long one, it'll just kind of oh, stay behind right. us. Okay. Okay, now pop your right knee onto the box. Oh, this is the way we're going. Gotcha. So, okay, this is kind of like doing a cable kickback. Okay. So 
keep that in mind while you're doing this exercise. Yes, okay, now walk your right knee back a little bit so it's under your hip. Okay, now let's sweep this leg up. Ooh, oh yeah, <laughs> nice and heavy. And back down under the hip. So think about leading the heel up to the ceiling and then lowering the leg back down, toe to the floor. Is it hard? It's so hard. I, I feel know. like I'm really unbalanced. What I, I know. Feel. Well, it's like so much core work. And that was gonna say with Pilates is it's like, um, uh, there's core involved in every single exercise, even without really like noticing. Yeah, there's definitely core. Cause I feel like I'm like trying to squeeze and not fall off the box. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like staying on top of the box. <laughs> Stay on top. So on the next one, we're gonna hold it up and then you're gonna do a kickback. So you're gonna bend the knee in and then press it back. Oh God. Yeah. I know, see like glutes have never felt so weak. <laughs> do I even work out? Do I even work oh my God. <laughs> All those pistols you do, you'd think I know, that. you would think, but <laughs> clearly not. I know, it's just different. Okay, we're gonna do two more and then we're gonna add in a fun little pulse. Oh God, I don't like, my body's like I know, pulse. Ready, let's just do five. Okay. Three, two, one, hold it back. Ready, set, pulse. <laughs> Good God! <laughs> Three, two, one. There okay. You go. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a fun surprise. Oh my God. <laughs> Your poor body, I know. We're gonna have uh, definitely some sore legs tomorrow. Uh, so yes. we're gonna take this bad boy off. Okay. And then we're going to hook in this. So grab your cardio tram. Ooh, I know, it's really fun. And then it's just gonna fit into these little slots back here. Perfect. And then behind there's like these little knobs, just give it a quick little tighten. So that it stays in place. We're gonna take this to one red, one blue. Okay. So hook on a blue spring as well, and then come onto your back. This looks fun. This looks like I know, but again, deceive it. Deceive like, yeah, you think that was scary, <laughs> but <laughs> right? Okay, so bring your feet together, and you always want to land like through your toes. Oh don't like do a don't land with your heel. Yeah, got to be okay. graceful. So feet together, and we're gonna jump all the way out with your legs nice and straight, and then come back in. Yeah. So lengthening the legs. This one's definitely better than the pulses. Way better than the pulses. Um, and you always like still have some emphasis on the core too. So like pressing that back into the carriage as you're jumping. Okay. So we don't lose the core connection. Let's start to star the legs. So open and close the legs. Oh, coordination. Yeah, <laughs> so coordination. I feel like you're really good at coordination. This one's my favorite so far. <laughs> But just wait till you're like out of breath and your legs are dying. I yeah, know, I can definitely feel like this is actually fun cardio. I know, again, you're on your back. It's crazy. Come back in, rest. Bring your heels together, toes apart like we did on the oh, foot bar. Yeah. yeah, and then jump in. Every time you land, just make sure your knees have that space. Do you feel it now? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> this frog position is yeah. definitely like muscle group is like brutal. They have not been used. <laughs> Good. And come all the way back in. Now we're gonna do moguls. Like think like when you're skiing, you go like side to side. So every time you land, you're gonna jump, or sorry, land with your feet to the left and then to the right. So jump out, land feet to the left corner and then to the right corner. So it's like a little bit of a rotation. Okay, this one's harder than anticipated. <laughs> this one I feel like part of my quads. Yeah, you're like skiing, it's easy. Oh my God. Yeah. This is way harder than Oh my gosh. Let's come back to center. And then we're gonna do a single leg. So hold the right leg in a tabletop position. Okay. Jump with the left. Well, my single leg strength, I should be good at this one. <laughs> yeah. But again, my quad is like burning. I know. Same. And then hop like switch into the right one. Ooh, coordination. Yep. I feel like Pilates people just put up with a lot more burn, like lactic acid. Yes. Than the average person because a hundred percent. Pilates burns. It truly does. Let's hopscotch. So you're gonna go left leg. Oh gosh. And then right leg. Coordination. I'm trying to be in sync with you. <laughs> I was like, good. You like to not be in sync. With you. I'm like trying to concentrate, like land on the trampoline. <laughs> and last one. Good. Come back in. Okay. That's fun. So fun. So there's like 
One of my favorite ab exercises, I'm literally sweating. <laughs> Some of my favorite ab exercises are done like on the cardio tramp. So take it to a blue spring. And then we're gonna need your stability ball again, so grab that. Okay. And then just fit it right in front of the shoulder pads. And then we're gonna scooch on down so that your shoulder blades end up on the ball. So this is, yeah, exactly. So this is like all core. It's gonna be super light on your legs. Yeah. Maybe scooch up a little bit higher. Here? Yeah, exactly. Hands behind your head. Are you ready for this? No, I'm scared. Okay, bring your feet <laughs> together. And we're gonna jump out, straighten out your legs. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, that's core. Yeah. Yeah, so nice and long. Like the more air time we get, the more work we feel on the abs. And let's open and close the legs. Yep. Nice. Wow, this is very versatile. I know. You think cardio tramp is just for your legs? No. Nope. And then we're gonna do two crosses. This is one of my favorites. So you do two little crosses and then come back. Two crosses. Nice, hey, so looks like you're a ballerina. I know, this is like back to your dance days. <laughs> what is this called in ballet or something? It's called a beat. A little beat. A little beat. Good, one more. Nice, come back in. Okay, bring your right leg all the way up in the air. And then you're gonna jump out, your legs are going to like circle. You're gonna land on the other leg. Yeah, exactly. Let's All right, see. here we go. <laughs> Ready? Watch Sam's versus mine. <laughs> Ready, set, go, jump, and then circle the legs. Okay, that was perfect. And circle. Good. Nice. Now, Pilates makes you feel pretty. It's like super graceful. Yeah. If you can like bear with the pain. This is so fun. <laughs> One more. Good, come back in. Yeah, you feel like, like a dancer again. Yeah. I haven't felt like a dancer in a very long time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is hilarious because all you're doing is like, great. Like, right. Yeah, <laughs> like, flying in the back. <laughs> okay, we'll take this off. Take your springs to two red springs. Take off the blue one. Okay. You're gonna grab both of these straps and we're gonna put your feet in them. So, okay. Yeah, so you're gonna lay down like this. Oops, I got the wrong springs. So you're gonna lay down. And then you're gonna push away. Yeah, exactly. Just put them in the long straps. Just the long straps? Yeah, but put the around the arch of your foot. And then same thing with the left one. Oh, I did this wrong. I'm crossed. Oh, no. <laughs> you're gonna have yeah. lopsided legs. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Here we go. Perfect. So start with your legs long. And then you're gonna just reach your legs up and then back down. This is like such a great stretch, but also Ooh. such a fun way to like strengthen your legs, your inner thighs. Great for mobility too, and like the hips, the legs. Oh, I think one of my straps is wrong. That's why it feels Oh, I can see what's wrong with it. I'm stuck. It's like folded. There we go. There. I, was like, I was like low key, I was like, do I just keep going even though it's uneven or do I say something? <laughs> you're gonna end up with like one leg. I know, I my left leg, I was like, I was like, mmm. <laughs> it's a little weird. Let's hold the legs down on the next one. Now you're gonna flex your feet and then bend into tabletop and press back out. Oh, it's like weighted like reverse crunches and like leg weights, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to look at it. I like that people can come up with like visuals in their head of how, yeah, like how like I can transfer this to something that like I'm like more familiar with. Yeah, I think this is cool. Exactly, it's so fun. And one more. And then hold your legs here. Now we're gonna do some leg circles. So you're gonna reach your legs up to the ceiling. Yeah. And then open and circle down. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> right? My inner thighs are like, girl. Those damn inner thighs. We don't do this. And circle down. I know your hips. This might actually be really good practice for you. Yeah. Cause this is an area of my body I think I definitely ignore unintentionally. Yeah. You might have like the best like mobility of your life after doing these circles. Yeah. Let's do one more circle this way and then we'll reverse going the other way. So now from the bottom, oh. circle upward. Jesus! And come down. <laughs> nice. Does it matter how wide your legs go on the circle? No, I always say like take it as wide as your hips will allow. 
Okay. And you also never want your butt to start coming off. So if your low back starts to brown oh, off. Oh, like it starts to like arch? Yes, then you, okay. you're you probably making too big of a circle and we're losing our form. So let's hold it here. And now we're gonna turn the legs outward. So you have that lateral rotation. Let's find our third froggy of the, the class. Oh my God. So this is like the most advanced version for sure. Jeez. Yeah. Good. And like, get this, all my adductors are weak. Oh yeah. I have none. Zero. Yeah, keeping the heels together oh, is like, yeah. like the hardest part. My heels are like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's pretty rough. I feel like everyone should do reformer at least once in their life, because this is like the most humbling experience I've ever done. That's what everyone says. They're like, oh no, I'm super strong. I can do reformer. And I'm like, no. But have you, like, are you really that strong? Like, you're at, you're at Dr. Strong. <laughs> Good. And press all the way up. Okay, let's try something a little bit funkier. Let's see if we can grab the ball. How close are <laughs> We are not close. <laughs> I'm not sure ours. <laughs> that's, that's nice. <laughs> there we go. Okay, take the ball and squish it between your inner thighs. Or sorry, not inner thighs, your ankles. Oh, my ankles. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, like say hi to those adductors again. Wow. <laughs> we'll make it quick. Three, two, one, lift and lower. And like whenever we stick the ball like in between the people's ankles, they're like, their legs are like shaking. Yeah, my inner thighs are like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, another humbling exercise. Wow, just putting a ball between my heels. I know, right? Jeez. You could actually probably do this without the straps in your feet too. Like just using a stability ball on the I'm floor. I'm gonna start doing that because clearly. <laughs> We've got some work to do. We have some work to do. Hold it down, let's. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, I got it. Oh wow, that's smart. Okay, let's do 10 pulses and then we'll get rid of the ball. Three, two, one, squeeze. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh my God. But... <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I release. Okay. Okay. Ready? We'll do five more. <laughs> three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. Good God. Take the speed out. I'm dying. Oh, gosh. Okay, roll up. Whew. Yo, my inner thighs. I know, me too. Jesus. Oh, my God. Brutal. Okay. I thought I was like, you know. I had inner thighs. I don't. No, I don't have any. Yeah, Claudius makes you realize that you um, are like weak in certain areas. Super. Yeah. This this area <laughs> weak. Got some work to do. Got some work to do. <laughs> Let's stretch it out. Okay, so yeah. um, unscrew these, and then once they're um, loose, we can just take it out. It took me so long to find the knobby. Oh, <laughs> I was like, where is little it? scar knobs? Oh. I literally have like back You're sweat. You're walking, my legs are like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. If you have a workout to do today, like other than this, you might have to, to quit have to it. Buy. So let's pull this all the way up. And then take it back to your blue spring. I'm really impressed that you know how to use the springs like right off the bat. I was watching you very close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> take your right foot to the floor. Yeah. And then just keep your left knee down and then just start to press your hips down and like that like completely stretches out like that. This the inner thighs, area. yeah. The temper area. The areas that's like on fire right now. Yeah. It's like we don't we don't do this. Yeah. And then I like to even start to extend the front leg like you're pressing out into the splits. Oh, okay, okay. So then you get like a deep hamstring stretch. And then also that left hip flexor. Yeah. I feel like if you, if I end my classes with a nice stretch, people, the people like don't eat you as much after. Exactly. They like they're, forget, they, they forget, forget the... that I completely ruined their body. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, see me so nice. I just have to do this one stretch and then they're like, okay, I'll come back to another class. Yeah. They're like, okay, the ending is nice. <laughs> Let's do that other side so that we're not um, uneven. uneven here. Open hip flexor. This is my favorite stuff ever. Because the reformer machine was like originally built for like rehabilitation and like physiotherapy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's like, so low impact. Exactly. And um, so this would be really good for someone who's like just getting kind of getting back in the gym after an injury. 
Totally. Day. But then yeah. also, for someone who's not injured and completely healthy, this is really hard. <laughs> it just needs this was nice. just a good test. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. But maybe if you added this in like once a week, you might notice like a bit of a difference in oh, like your strength, mobility, your core strength. You know what it is? You know, you know that TikTok challenge that was going around where people would like hold their phone and like slide in the middle? Yes. Yeah. That's why I can't do that once I don't have adductors. Oh. I kept on doing it and just like hitting my entire body into the ground. That's so funny. So maybe if I do this a couple more times. Yeah, you might be a pro. I'll be able to do it. <laughs> okay, how are you feeling right now? I feel good. You that feel was good? Really good. Yeah. It's really good. I know. It's the best little workout. It's like a bit of a secret. People like are familiar with Pilates, but also still kind of afraid of it. And I think it's because um, they think you have to be super flexible or really strong, but yeah. you don't. There's so many different levels. Of no, really the only flexible thing that we did was kind of like maybe when your legs come up, but even then yeah. you just work in a range of motion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, this was really, thanks so much. Amazing. This was yeah. so fun. Yeah, so if you guys ever want to try Pilates, I highly recommend coming to Function Studio just because one, look how beautiful it is, but two, Sammy's an amazing instructor and she will make sure that you're working and finding muscles you didn't even know you had. So if you guys are in the area of Newmarket, make sure to, you guys, you guys can book online, right? You can book online. There's yeah. a, there's a, we have an app, so you can book on the app or just our website. Yeah, and you guys have like follow along videos on the app as well too, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so if you guys haven't checked out Functions already, make sure you do. Um, and if you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to see me do more Pilates, also comment that below. But we will see you guys next time. Bye.